This tally tutorial is presented by Ample Technology LLC. First, let us create a demo company. Please note country must be selected as Sultanate of Oman and Governorate must be selected. Now let us configure tally for enabling that features. Press key F11. You can see an option under heading taxation, labeled as enable value added tax. Set this option as yes. On enter key press a sub form will be opened. Enter VAT identification number and registration date. Keep third option as no. Set ignore mismatch in tax up to 0.001 Omani Rial. Now, let us create ledgers. Before creating ledger, let us configure ledger creation window. Press F12, then set show more configurations as yes and show all configurations as yes. Make sure following options are marked as yes. Set as yes, for option, select type of duties or taxes. Set as yes, for option, set ledgers to behave as duties and taxes. Set as yes, for option, include additional ledger value to calculate accessible value. Set as yes, for option, provide VAT registration details. Set as yes, for option, provide VAT details for ledgers. Set as yes, for option, provide VAT details for non-revenue accounts also. Set as yes, for option, set nature of transactions for ledgers. Now let us make a customer ledger. First ledger is created as customer in Oman and is grouped under sundry debtors. Make sure that you have selected correct country and governorate. If the customer is not registered, then select registration type as consumer or unregistered. If the customer is registered, then select registration type as regular and enter date of his registration and VAT identification number. Please note if you are selecting a customer from GCC countries other than Oman and he is registered under VAT of that country, then give his VAT identification number of that country. Creation of supplier is same as customer creation. Now let us create a tax ledger for sales. I am creating this ledger as value added tax and grouped under duties and taxes. Set type of duty slash tax as VAT. Now let us create sales ledger. First, let us create a sales ledger for sales in Oman. Let us create a ledger called domestic sales and group under sales. Set nature of transaction as domestic taxable supplies and tax rate as 5%. Select, and type of supply as goods. Now let us create a sales ledger for sales to GCC countries other than Oman. Let us create a ledger, called GCC Sales, and group under sales. Set nature of transaction as, intra-GCC supplies, and tax rate as 0%. Select, type of supply as goods. Now let us create a sales ledger for sales to countries other than GCC countries. Let us create a ledger called export sales and group under sales. Set nature of transaction as exports tax and tax rate as 0%. Select type of supply as goods. Now let us create purchase ledger. Now let us create a purchase ledger. First, let us create a purchase ledger for purchase inside Oman. Let us create a ledger called domestic purchase and group it under purchase accounts. Set nature of the transaction as domestic taxable purchases and tax rate as 5%. And, select type of supply as goods. Now, let us create a purchase ledger for purchase from GCC countries other than Oman. Let us create a ledger called GCC Purchase and group it under Purchase Accounts. If tax is applicable, set nature of transaction as intra GCC taxable purchases and set tax rate as 5%. And select type of supply as goods. Please note if tax is zero rated for those GCC purchases, set nature of the transaction as intra GCC zero rated purchases and set tax rate as 0%. 
and select type of supply as goods. Now, let us create a purchase ledger for purchase from countries other than GCC countries. Let us create a ledger called imports purchase and group it under purchase accounts. If tax is applicable then set nature of transaction as imports taxable and set rate as 5%. And select type of supply as goods. Please note, if tax is zero rated for those import purchases, set nature of the transaction as imports zero rated and set tax rate as 0%. And select type of supply as goods. For fixed asset purchase, let us create a ledger called furniture and group it under fixed assets. If tax is applicable, then select nature of transaction as domestic taxable purchases, capital goods, and set tax rate as 5%, and set the type of supply as goods. For direct expenses, let us create a ledger called repairs and maintenance, and group it under direct expenses. If tax is applicable, then select nature of transaction as domestic taxable purchases, and set tax rate as 5%, and type of supply as service. For providing invoice discount, create a ledger called discount and group it under direct expenses. Select type of ledger as discount and set option appropriate to as both. For invoice rounding, create a ledger called round off and group it under direct expenses. Select the type of ledger as invoice rounding and rounding method as normal rounding and set the rounding limit as per your decision. For input VAT ledger, create a ledger called input VAT and group it under current assets. Set 